Hello and welcome to this video. This is a new features video for MagicAd 2015.11 for Revit. This one is to do with improvements and updates to our Builders Work tool, also known as the Provisions for Voice tool. Uh, we now have um, updated options within the data set, uh, so the configuration for how the voids are created are now updated. We now have uh, extra functionality for uh, ignoring circular objects uh, uh, that are smaller than a certain dimension so you can uh, ignore holes that you do not need below a certain uh, dimension uh, for your contract with your uh, uh, client whatever you've agreed you can now ignore and they can do the works on site uh, we've also got um, additional functions for fire dampers uh, and you can I'll show you later you can actually customize each individual fire damper or product uh, that, that uh, is in the project and can have an individual offset uh, that you can set yourself also we now have um, offsets not only just for different shapes but also for vents piping and electrical services so you can customize exactly each shape and each service that you'd like to see and the offsets of each you can see now that the uh, fire damper or a VCD now has an extra type parameter which is the extra offset for provision if you put a figure in there whatever you want it to be it can it, that will now override the figure that is defaulted in the data set for these kind of items um, so you can now set and customize each individual type uh, should you wish um, a fire damper VCD or duct accessory that you choose. Now we've configured the data set so that builders work will be created in the way that we wish. We can now create the voids automatically using the voids tool here. We're going to use the current view in this example. Press OK. It will now create the voids as required and you will see these provisions for the voids appear here now uh, around the services. Now I'm the architect um, and now I'm using the add-in, the provisions for void manager and as before we can still review openings and create them using this tool so firstly I'll just uh, for this example just create all the voids which will physically cut the holes in the elements and then I'm going to look at accepting or rejecting obviously if I've created it I'm going to accept it so I'm going to accept them and then you can obviously put comments in as as usual the big difference now is that you can actually save this as a report which you can share with the MEP engineer so hit save report just override that previous one and now the MEP engineer can receive that report and review the status and comments and the updated uh, changes to anything to do with the voids from the architect's side uh, without having to share the MEP or architectural or structural models uh, around with each other. Now I'm the MEP engineer and I just received the report off the architect uh, so what I need to do now is load that report into the model to see what the comments were on my request for these uh, openings so use the add-in so click on there and then open report and then load in the report that's received and now you can see the status and comments uh, against all those different openings of course you can click on anything and jump to show and it will go exactly there you can see the physical hole is cut out as you'd expect and then just press OK uh, once you've reviewed everything um, one other feature of this report now is that uh, it links the actual holes with the provisions for the voids so for instance if you move a uh, a duct and the provision for the for the hole along so if I move these two objects let's shift them down the wall slightly you can see there's now a discrepancy between the hole in the architect's model and the provision we're asking for if we send that back to the architect uh, it will now flag up a uh, warning in the report that they receive um, showing the discrepancy and obviously they're prompted to do something about it so I'll show you that now. I'm now the architect and I've run the 
provision for voids uh, report again and you can see here that if there's any kind of discrepancy between the um, request for the void and the actual void uh, you do get some warning here for example this one has uh, increased in size and you can see there that it actually says the element is increased in size uh, so um, the architect or structural engineer can review that and uh, deal with it appropriately and then um, send that back to the MEP engineer uh, until the situation is resolved uh, that's it for the provision for voids uh, manager and uh, the provision for void settings and data set updates in this version. Uh, thank you for watching.